Hello everyone, welcome to my workshop on computer vision for chemists. I will talk about classification and the detection of amoeba using optical microscopic images with uh, machine learning. And uh, here is the outline. In this video, I'll talk about the introduction and I'll tell you what is the amoeba, machine learning and computer vision, and also talk about some platforms to implement the computer vision using machine learning including the Co Google Colab and Jetson Nano, and also talk about some prerequisites to finish this workshop that involves some um, Python basics and a date analysis with Python, and also talk about the whole workshop schedule. And uh, in the later video, uh, we will talk about the section one, section two, and section three. That is about the image classification object detection in Google Colab or Jetson Nano. Okay, first is uh, what is the amoeba? It's a single cell organism that exhibits amoeboid movement. So like uh, movement via protrusion of a cytoplasm of the cell. So the amoeba we use in this work is uh, one is called a uh, proteus. A proteus It's a harmless amoeba. Another one is a harmful amoeba called enfalari. So it is kind of important to detect the amoeba uh, because uh, enfalari is called the brain-eating amoeba. It's a global health concern. And the common detection method is a microscopic observation, which is simple but a tedious task, which requires a highly trained personnel. But the machine learning can make the autonomous observation, which decreases the working load of those person. So what is the machine learning? Machine learning uh, is a computer algorithm that it can build a model based on training data, and the training model can be used to make predictions. And um, machine learning can be used in the field of the computer vision. The computer vision is to train the computers to understand the visual world. Some successful information for the computer vision using machine learning is um, face detection and hand gesture detection. I think everybody see these successful applications in your real life. And uh, in the recent days, um, these type of things can be used in the microscopic world. The image in the, in the bottom is the paper published in the 2017 in, by, the, by the Institute of uh, MIT. So it will get the image data from the microscope and then put it in the trained model and um, use the trained model to make a predictions to the object, object detection of malaria images. And uh, to Im implement the works, so there are some platforms. The first one is uh, Google Colab. So Colab allows you to write and execute Python in your browser with the zero, zero configuration required access to GPUs free of charge and e easy sharing. Another uh, device actually is a device called the Jetson Nano. It's an NVIDIA Jetson Nano developer kit. It's a small, powerful computer that lets you run neural network for applications like uh, image classification, object detection, uh, segmentation, and so on. It's a very small and powerful uh, device. So this is a platform we will use and uh, uh, talk about it later on. To finish the workshop, you will need some um, prerequisite and uh, basics, like a Python basic and a data analysis with Python. So to learning that or build your fundamentals, so there is a very good tutorials, a paper published in the Journal of Chemical Education, a gentle introduction to machine learning for chemists. In, in there, they will talk about uh, Py Python notebook, uh, visualization, data processing, analysis, and uh, modeling. And uh, here is the GitHub um, project, the screenshot for it. And um, another one is uh, a great book called Python for Data Analysis. You can find out this, uh, this book to read it and follow along the coding there. You will have a very good understanding um, for data analysis using Python. We also took uh, very good uh, videos talking about Python basics and uh, data analysis with Python. So you are also welcome to watch that videos and learn it. More learning resources and their introductions are listed in our support information. So feel free to, to look at that. 
And then here is the whole workshop schedule. First is the introduction, and in the uh, section one, I will talk about image classification in Google Colab. Uh, first is the fu some fundamentals regarding image classification. You will know what it is. Uh, some neural networks, um, the basics about that. And then it's an example collab notebook about close classification to distinguish uh, what kind of close it is using the trained model. And then apply the same idea uh, for the amoeba classification in assignment and solution collab notebook. In assignment, you also need to fill out the code by yourself, try your best to uh, fill out the blank of the code. And then I'll give you the solution about that. Um, in the section two, um, the the same thing, the same uh, uh, work uh, flow. So in there, uh, we will talk about the fundamentals about object detection, some uh, networks we use to do the object detection, and then one example, Colab notebook, is uh, kangaroo detection, and then give you assignment to to work on it, and then give you the solution, Colab notebook. All of those assignments and the solution is about amoeba detection. A final final section is the after detection in Jet Signal. We will use it and uh, talk about the fundamentals about some uh, networks we use, and then give you one example in Jet Signal that is about amoeba detection. We will use the same data set with the section two so that we can compare um, the the result and see it. All of those details about these three sections are in this GitHub, and uh, and here is the link. You can also find out the link from our main paper. And uh, for the section one, you can. This is the folder. All of the code books are in those folders. Uh, section one, image classification with uh, machine learning, and you can click it. You will see that in this folder, it contains example, assignment, and a solution notebook. So we can click the solution notebook to take a look at it. And uh, this shows how it looks in the GitHub. Of course, you will learn how to open it in Colab. You will modify, execute the code there freely and easily. Uh, we can open up my old book uh, to take a quick look at it. So uh, here is the solution notebook in section one. So in here, we will load the um, images data set and then do the data preparation for the trained model. And then you use that um, data set to build and train the model. And after this process, you will get a trained model. Use that trained model to evaluate, to get the performance of it, and then use the trained model to run the inference. Finally, the model will tell you if uh, an uh, image contains amoeba or not. Okay, we can go back to our um, section two. You click it. The, uh, this is the section two folder, section two object detection with the uh, mask RCN. You click it, you will see that in here it contains uh, example assignment and uh, solution of the book. It also have a bonus part, but we won't cover the details about this uh, bonus part. I will touch a little bit in our future plan. And we can open up one uh, notebook in our Google Colab. So here is the how it looks for the solution uh, notebook uh, about the amoeba detection. In here, you will set up an uh, environment and uh, the environment is a suit to train the mask RCN and load the images data set for our, from our GitHub and do the data preparation. Finally, you'll start to train your custom amoeba model. After that, you'll get trained model. Use that trained model to evaluate and run the inference uh, on it. In here, we will uh, inference a water drop from, and uh, the model will tell you how many how many amoeba contains in the water drop, and also you will run uh, inference for a test data set. We can go back to look at the section three. Uh, here is the folders for the section three after detection using Jetson Nano. You click it. All of those informations are in the Jetson Nano tutorial list documentation. We can click it. So um, in here. 
or was a lot of the command uh, command lines to teach you how to how to um, prepare your data, load it, and evaluate, and uh, train the models, etc. And all of the details, informations are in this documentation. Just read it and uh, implement it in the Jetson Nano device. Finally, we will have a goodbye and a future plan video. We suggested some uh, good learning uh, resources, some books, courses there regarding fundamentals and math of machine learning. And uh, we'll also be glad if you can take a workshop survey after that and give us some uh, suggestions. If uh, you just started this field, it's probably not easy, but I hope everyone who take this workshop can know some uh, fundamentals and knowledge regarding computer vision using machine learning. Okay, good luck everyone.